In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this word for word animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So the first step in this process is to actually transcribe the sequence. So we need Premiere to analyze the shot, figure out what's being said and turn that into a transcript. So to do that, we're going to go to window and make sure we can see the text window. Then you can see we've got create captions from transcript. We're going to select that button and you've got this menu that pops up. Now you can keep the caption preset as subtitle default, but we want to go into captioning preferences and we want to put maximum length in characters. We want to pull that down to a much smaller number. Then you want to go to lines and select single and you can pull the minimum duration all the way down. Now we are going to select transcribe and create captions. Premiere is just going to take a minute to analyze that and then we are left with this. So as you can see, we've got three words, th four words, two words, three words, one word. We want to try and separate this. So I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to go through word by word and separate this. If you, so this is going to be you, if you want, create. So I've made a cut every time there is a new word. So now I just need to go through and I just need to delete all the useless information. So if you want, so if we just play this back from the beginning, you'll see it's a very quick effect. So we're just going to keep going through if you want to create a block. Great. So at this point in time, we need to turn this text into something a bit more visually exciting because it's a bit boring at the moment. So just select any one of those text graphics or these captions, and we're going to go into essential graphics. And if you can't see that, then go to window and go to essential graphics. Make sure that is ticked. Then we're going to go over into the edit window inside essential graphics and we can change the font. We can left align, we can center this, we can right align this, we can do a faux bold, we can change the position. And for this effect, I'm gonna place that in the very center. Then feel free to change the fill color. You can add a stroke, you can add a background, but I think I'm happy with that. It's quite a basic effect, but I think I'm quite happy. So from here, I'm just gonna go into track style, select this box that says none. We'll go create style and we'll rename this to our new effect so we can call this bold text. We'll press OK on that. And now you'll notice all of the other text layers should have this new text style applied. So again, let's just prove what is just for safety. So now we need to convert these captions into graphics. So we're going to highlight all of those, go to graphics and titles and put upgrade caption to graphic. So this is now turned into a normal text graphic as opposed to a caption. So we are going to go to the very first text graphic, which is if we'll go to effect controls, go into video motion, and I'm just going to pull the scale all the way up to a much higher number. So something in the thousands, you gonna create a brand new keyframe on the scale. Then I'm going to go three frames to the right and pull that down to around 80. Then I'm just going to move over a little bit and go to 100. So at the end of that action, that should be 100. And let's play that back. Now, because this was so short, I feel like this starting point might be a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go back to that first keyframe and I'm just going to pull this down a pinch. So we'll go there. And I feel like because this is so short and so quick, we might not need the bounce. So you can remove the bounce if you've got a really short clip, if you're talking fast like I am in this example. So we'll remove the bounce and just have the scale down. So we're going from 281 to 100 in a matter of three frames. Now we're just going to take motion. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go and paste that on all of the other layers. So on Mac, copy is Command and C and paste is command and V and then on windows it is control. So control C, control V. Now, if you wanted to change the look of this, then I'm just going to undo the paste. I'm going to go back to that first layer and I'm going to right click this last keyframe and select ease out. So it will soften the landing into that. 
And now I'm just going to copy the motion tab again and then paste that on all of the other text layers again. Now, the last thing to do is to just add a little bit of a blur at the very beginning. So I'm just going to go back to that first text layer. We'll go into effects and search for blur, B-L-U-R. That should load up Gaussian blur inside of blur and sharpen. We're going to drop that onto our first text layer. And at the very beginning, we're going to increase the blur in us up to around 70 to the point where it's really blurry. And then two frames later, we're going to drop that. So drop it to zero. You can even just have this as one frame if you wanted it to be really quick. So just pull that closer in. And now we'll copy that Gaussian blur or that Gaussian blur. Again, Command C or Control C. And then we'll paste that on all of the other layers like this. As you can see, the blur might be a little bit too intense for your liking. And if it is, then just go back to that first keyframe. Pull down the blur in us to a much smaller or more suitable number. Copy that again and then paste that back on. And that is how you do this word by word dynamic text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on a future video. See you there.